but he taught me a couple tricks. One of them is to pre-roll, okay, so they don't have all those bubbles. So I'm going to put this, that's why I have this sliding glass door uh, roller. I'm going to pre-roll these cracks right here. Look at that. So now there's a nice, can you come up here and look at it? But now there's a nice deep groove here. And what this does is it lines up all these little tracks. So you can see the mesh isn't turning a certain way. These little, these little uh, lines are lined up perfectly. And the screen right here, um, you can't really see it, but right around this corner there's these little teeth. Those little teeth are what cause a lot of problems. Okay, when you're, when you're rolling up a screen, um, the, the mesh and the frame are trying to do too, di too many different things. Okay, so you have new mesh, old spline, old frame, teeth on here, you're rolling it up, there's pressure coming from everywhere, and there's rubber trying to expand at different lengths, all at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate those steps by one, I'm going to pre-roll it into here. So now that I've pre-rolled that, those teeth have, have gripped those sides, and all they've had to do in that step is just grip the sides, and, and I, I've told them this is where I want the mesh to lay. So it's like, okay, so I'm not putting too much pressure on it. Now, I'm gonna take this roller, and these are all really fast steps once you get the hang of it. I'm just gonna roll this in there. I'm gonna kinda stretch the spline out. I'm just gonna roll it in there. Good pressure, okay? Now I'm going to go that way. So I'm going to get this corner here. I'm going to turn the corner, take a little twist on the on the spline and push it in with my hand. And then do a quick roll. Now I'm going to make sure this screen is lined up by pre-rolling and I'm going to line up those tracks, these little individual pieces of fiberglass. I'm going to pre-roll them in there. This is nice and easy. You, I don't even have to teach you how much pressure I'm putting. It's just an easy, straightforward process. Now, I'm going to, what I like to do on these long parts is just actually lay the rubber down first. Okay, I've laid the rubber down. Now it's gripping everywhere. Then I'm gonna go one more pass with my thumb this is just a difficult screen. There's so many more screens that are easier than this that you could spline up so fast. Okay, now I'm gonna roll it in. And ahead of it, I just have my fingers on it just to give it a little heads up that I'm coming. And it'll start bubbling up because the mesh is stretching. All right, got that corner. Looking good. Now, I'm gonna use this and just clip it. Now I'm gonna go start over over there. I don't wanna do a full circle, I'm not. There's too much, there's too many moving parts. Okay, I'm gonna pre-roll this. Try to get everything edged in there. And I, I wanna stretch the screen this way so it stops bubbling on me. Right to there. Take this line, throw it over there. I have my middle finger around it there, holding it, stretch it out, turn the corner, twist the spline. Push it in. And the last one I don't have to pre pre-track. So now quickly I can take my small tool, push in all four corners at once if they even need it. Now I'm going to release the roll so my assistant can set it up on the other table. So, roll side first, 
comes off. And for the sake of this video, I'm just going to cut off this. I would normally have it rolled up on there, but. Okay, let me show you how to cut this stuff. Normally I'd be moving to a different table and doing the skilled labor and then I would have an assistant cutting all this, but this is how I teach my assistants to cut the fiberglass. So you want to have your finger away from it. You want to stretch it out. Stretch out that fiberglass. Okay, the little, I'm just going to do it real quick. Stretch out the fiberglass. You're gonna bend it over this way, get behind it, so you're not you're not sitting here caught with a bunch of remnant. Okay, now I'm gonna pull it out like this, and pull this one out. Remember, stretch it good because it's gonna make those fibers stretch out, and when they stretch out. You cut them and they and they go back in under the under the uh, spline, so that you don't have any hang nails. Okay, that's it. I put this back in my pocket. I just unclip these, put them back under. There, and I'm gonna break it off of there. Let's see how good we did. So we got a, there's a couple little bubbles here, but I mean, not really anything I would even retouch. I mean, it, it looks great. You see how that bar is straight now, perfectly straight. This bar still has a little bit of a bow to it, but that's okay. Let's go see if it fits back on the window. Okay, the right, right spring side, I mean the spring side in first, upper spring side in first, then the opposite, the top is in, now the bottom spring side next, then we're just stuck with this part that's kind of stubborn, so I'm going to put as much screen as I can down and just kind of push it as it goes, it'll leverage that screen in. That was a very tight screen, so if I get that done. So, the window is completely sealed. Even that outward bow uh, sucks in those cracks even more. You try to get a vertical screen like this, as nice as this one is, it's gonna be very hard. Um, but what we'll see here is, no, you can't really see it from there, but um, right here will be kind of a bubble because it was kind of outward bowed too much, but that's much better than an inward bow. So with an outward bow, to get that uh, baggy screen off, real quick, I'm going to take my tool. Which one? Okay, I got my little tool here. I'm going to reach to the top. Okay, really carefully, I'm going to unspline it. Very dangerous, huh? Okay. I'm going to get it down to where the bubble stops. Don't touch the mesh here. All you're going to do is very carefully spline it right back up in its channel. Right back up in the same channel. Don't pull any mesh. Don't do anything. This is an incredible trick I learned through trial and error. And it's actually back up in the corner perfectly. Uh, I don't want to cut off anymore. I'm just going to let it slide back in. Okay, now that is nice and perfect. There might be a teeny bubble here, but nothing noticeable. All this did was the rubber just re-gripped the mesh and just kind of pulled in a half of a track uh, back into itself and didn't pull any from the left side because obviously there's nothing there. So that's if you get a bubble and it's too tight. Um, if the screen's bowing, you have to redo the whole screen. If it's outwardly bowing, <laughs> if it's outwardly bowing, you can always adjust it right here on. And if you have too much mesh, you could just cut it right here. Okay guys, that's, um, there's your video. Congratulations, you have now saved years of your life. <laughs>